while ago the Lord led me again to Malachi. And I'm just going to quickly read the scripture. Because the word, the word is powerful, right? It convicts. And it helps us know what God actually says on these matters. So it says in Malachi 3.8, Will a man rob God, yet you have robbed me? But you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and in offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor the vine that fall to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And the nations will call you blessed, and you will be a delightful land. Now, this, this scripture, it, it's sharing that, that we have a part to play. We have a part to play. We bring and we give back to God what he has given us. And we freely give it and we, we give it with great thanks. And when we do, we can come to this promise. Because we are coming into days where it's getting shorter and shorter, right? Like people are finding it's a bit tighter. The price of food is going up. The price of petrol is going up. What used to fill a tank is now half a tank. But... The Lord says he will rebuke the devourer for our sake. Amen. You know? So I want to take this. I give to the Lord what, what he is due. And I say to my Father in heaven, Father, come and rebuke the devourer for me. Bring fruit into my land. And I just want to pray that for you guys now as well. I'm sure many people are bringing their offering, bringing what the Lord is putting on the heart into the house. But I'm going to just pray a blessing. And I'm going to ask the Lord to rebuke the devourer Amen. on your behalf so that you will have more than enough for the seasons ahead and right now. So Father God, I just thank you for this body. I thank you for this church. I thank you for their faithfulness and their giving and their love for you. Father God, you have said when we bring the full time and offering into the house, you will rebuke the devourer on our behalf. God, I pray, rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. Tell him to get his hands off of our the fruit of our labor, off of our finances. Get his hands off of our mortgages. Get his hands off of our cars. Get his hands off of our workplaces. Get his hands off of our families. Get his hands off of our health in the name of Jesus. Lord, we look to you right now. You are the great provider. You give over and abundantly more than we can hope or expect or imagine. So we have enough for every single good work that you give to us. So Lord, I come before you as your daughter right now. And I pray for every single person that is sitting there today. Abundance and overflow. And I thank you, Lord God, what the enemy has stolen will be returned seven times over in the name of Jesus.